An explosives expert has been killed while trying to defuse a bomb left outside a Coptic Christian church in Egypt. Two other people were injured in the blast in Nasser city on the edge of Cairo. A bomb squad had been called to deal with an unattended package. The incident comes in the lead up to Christmas, which Egypt's minority Coptic Christians celebrate on Monday. Security has been reinforced in recent weeks after a wave of attacks has seen more than a hundred Coptic Christians killed since 2016. Well, with me is Archbishop Angelos, the first Coptic Orthodox Archbishop of London. Um, I just wonder whether the uh, timing of this attack inevitably has, has been uh, planned at a very sensitive time just as the preparations are being made to celebrate Christmas. Well, it certainly has because we have received warnings from militant Islamists over the past weeks that this was going to happen. Of course, they know it's a festive time, our churches are full, and um, it's, caused to, it, it's done to cause disruption and in, unfortunately inflict death. I mean, some, uh, many Coptic Christians in Egypt feel that they do not get enough protection from the state. And the fact that someone was able to, to, to get a, a, a bomb and leave it on the roof of a church will inevitably cause concern among them, won't it? Well, I mean, the reality is that the person who died was um, a member of the security services. He was a Muslim by faith, and he was fulfilling his duty. Um, we have seen increased security around churches and so I don't I don't think that is um, completely correct but the fact is that as we've seen in this country if people are trying to cause harm you can't completely eradicate the threat but we need to do more there needs to be a greater awareness on behalf of the Christians going to church and there needs to be greater security which we're seeing being increased as time goes on. Uh, will this uh, situation that's happened have any effect on the planned services for uh, Christmas? Well, we are, we're, we're having uh, great security at the churches, our own security in terms of screening people going in. But the incredible thing is that uh, it doesn't dissuade Christians from going to church. Our churches are fuller than ever. And unfortunately, when I say that, it could be a, a way of you know, pushing people to cause more, th more harm. But there is a resilience there, and people do go knowing that they are threatened and are targeted, but they still go. And given the numbers, more than 100 Coptic Christians killed since 2016, what does that do to the community there? So the numbers are, are close to 150, actually, and it's been in a variety of things, whether it be ex bombs at, at churches or shootings or attacks on individuals. Um, it, it makes people resilient, but it makes them feel also targeted. So they go on with their daily lives because they must. They go to work and to school and to churches, knowing that, there is, that they are targets, but they also hold on to their faith a lot more. Thankfully, there's no sense of retaliation. There's no sense of confrontation that is violent. Uh, and that's why the Coptic Church, I think, remains where it is. Coptic faithful have remained faithful and have remained peaceful and forgiving. But it doesn't mean that we don't feel the pain and we don't call for a necessary sense of justice when, that is, when a crime is committed, whether it's against a Christian or anyone else. Uh, of course, some, some people have been um, sentenced as a result of previous attacks, but the way that they've been dealt with by the Egyptian authorities has come in for criticism from groups like Amnesty International. Where does, uh, with the church's um, approach. How, how does that square? How does that fit in? So from our perspective, we never want um, a, a, a sense of, of retaliation. What we want is an institution of law. Now, of course, any country, any state must have its way that implements law, the legal system, the, the judiciary and everything else. Um, and, and Egypt needs to be careful of the way uh, it, it looks publicly and internationally, but what it needs to do more, of course, is like, like we have in Britain or else, is to safeguard the safety of its own citizens. Um, we don't want harm to come to anyone. We don't want revenge. But what we do want is a sense of, of law and order that holds everyone accountable equally, but also protects everyone equally. And, and just briefly, has there been indication that uh, security will be stepped up even further at churches um, in Cairo and throughout Egypt uh, for the Christmas services? Well, that was already happening, but I assume in, in light of what happened last night, there will be even greater 
uh, security. And when we pray for everyone going, we also pray for the people who are going to be predominantly Muslim who are keeping the Christians safe tonight. Okay, Archbishop Angelos, uh, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.